If you're someone who wants to blow moving objects or multiple faces of people in your video on CapCut PC, this is how you can go about it. Now the first thing you want to do is import your video. Simply click on import in this section and this will open your directory for you to import your videos. Once you have your videos imported, you find them in this section. On the video you want to blow on, you want to drag the video onto your timeline. Once on your timeline, if the video has audio, you might want to extract the audio from the video so that when you copy the video, there will not be repetition in audio. You can do this by simply right clicking on the clip and you see extract audio. This will allow you to extract the audio of your video. On the section you want to start the blow effect, you can simply break on that section by hitting on Ctrl B on your keyboard to create a separate shot. Since the video I'm using is a single scene and I would like to blow it all out, I won't be needing to break the clip. So for this clip, I'll be blowing everyone in the background and leaving only the two people in front. Simply click on the clip and press on Ctrl C on your keyboard or right click on the clip and click on copy to copy the clip. Once copied, you want to make sure that this is at the beginning of the clip. You can click and drag on it. Now press on Ctrl V on your keyboard to paste the clip or you can right click and you see paste in this section. Once pasted, the next thing is to add an effect. Come to the effect section here and click on effects. If you do not find blow in this section, simply click on video effects and then click on lens. Now click and drag on blow onto your video overlay. This will add the blow effect on the copy overlay of the video. After adding the blow, you'll be able to adjust this intensity in this section. Now if you do not find that option, simply click on the effect icon on the clip and you see the blow effect for you to adjust at any time editing your video. Now click outside the effect and this should take you to video. On that video, you want to click on mask and then you want to select the shape you want to use for masking. Since I'll be masking out faces, I'll be selecting the circular shape in this section. Click on your preferred option and it will be applied to your clip. You can also do other things such as reverse, resets and if you scroll down to the bottom you can change the position rotate size as well as feather now what you want to do next is drag this onto the face of the person you like to blow out you can go ahead and adjust it to your preferred shape and size in this section to view in details simply click on the zoom icon in this section and then drag this use this to adjust to the preferred position you want and then fit this to the object or face you can use this to increase the feather in this section you also see any changes made in this section the feather is going to fade out the blow effect and you can drag it back to restore it back. Once you're done adjusting for the beginning of the clip, also make sure that you're at the start of your clip. You want to press and hold down on next on your keyboard to give you a preview of where you need to make adjustments. So you can keep making this movement forward and backward to make adjustments. You can also click and drag on this to give you a preview. Once the blow effect is in frame, go ahead and move forward in your video and then in any position where you find the face or the object moving outside the frame, you want to add your first keyframe. In the mask section, scroll up and you should see add keyframe in this section. Click on this and the keyframe will be added to your overlay clip. The keyframe stores the position of a particular element on your video at a particular time. Once you've added a keyframe, you can go ahead and drag the mask to fit the face. You move forward in your preview again and then you adjust to match the element or face. A new keyframe will be added automatically. Move forward in your clip again and then adjust to fit again. So you need to continue doing this throughout the section of the clip you want to add the blow effect. You can also use the position, rotate, size and feather option to make it easier. You can also click to adjust your rotation in this section. Once you've made all the necessary changes, your clip should now look something similar to this with multiple keyframes. You can always edit a keyframe, simply click on the keyframe and this will be brought to that section and then you can adjust your keyframe from here. If you want to delete a keyframe, right click on the keyframe and then you'll see the delete button in this section. Click on delete and your keyframe will be deleted. After blowing out the first object office, you can come to this section and click it to preview in full. And this is what it should look like. The subject should be properly blowed out. Now to do this process for another face, you want to highlight on both clips and then right click and then click on create compound clip. You can also press on your keyboard alternate G. Click on this and this will be saved as a compound clip. With the compound clip, all the elements you have selected will be merged into a single clip. Now keep in mind that when creating the compound clip, it might make the clip lag. To stop this, what you want to do is right click on the compound clip and then you see pre-process. Click on pre-process and allow this to pre-process your video to a faster version. Click on the video again and copy the video this time around. And you want to bring this to the start of the video and paste it there again. Now you want to come to effects again and then you want to drag on blow onto your video overlay. Adjust the intensity and then click on the video clip. Now click on mask again and then select the shape you want to use for masking. Drag this onto the second object or subject and adjust it as you desire. Now you need to repeat the same process as with the first. Move forward in your clip and where you see the subject is moving out of frame, add a new keyframe. Move forward in your clip again 
and they give her Justin the mask. After adding all the keyframes, this is what the video now looks like with the second subject blowed out. To add another subject that will be blowed out, select on the two clips again and then create a compound clip by pressing alternate G or right clicking and clicking on create compound clip. Right click on the compound clip and then click on preprocess to preprocess the clip again. Now copy the clip and then come to the start of the clip and paste the clip. Now drag and add blow effect to your video overlay. You can go ahead and adjust the blow intensity again in this section and then click on the video clip. Now click on mask in this section and then select your preferred shape. Now drag and adjust this until it properly covers the subject and then move forward in your clip and repeat the same process of adding keyframes. So you can repeat this for about three times while creating the compound clip. Now for example, if after the third time of creating a compound clip, you won't be able to create a compound clip anymore. Now when you copy and paste and select the two clips to create a compound clip, you won't be able to create a compound clip. This is what you can do in this situation. You can delete the overlay and then export your last created compound clip. After exporting, import it back onto your timeline and you'll be able to create new compound clips. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found this video helpful. If you do find this video helpful, feel free to leave a like, subscribe and have the post notification turned on.